Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending upon where you are in the world, and welcome to today's webinar, How to Enable Predictive Maintenance and Condition Monitoring for Smart HVACR Equipment, brought to you by Tech Online, Infineon, Plica, Tech, and broadcast by Aspen Core. I'm Chris Keach, and I'll be your moderator today. We have just a few brief announcements before we begin. The slides will advance automatically throughout the event. You may also download a copy of the slides by clicking on the green folder icon located at the bottom of your screen. You can participate in our Q&A session by asking questions at any time during this webinar. Just type your question into the Q&A text area located to the right of the presentation window and then click the submit button. Please note that we'll try to get to as many questions as we can in the time that we have left at the end of today's program. However, if we're unable to get to your question today, someone will get back to you after the program is over. Also at this time, we recommend that you disable your computer's pop-up blockers. This will allow the slides to advance automatically throughout the event. And at the end of the webinar, we will ask you to complete our feedback form. Your feedback will provide us with valuable information on how we can improve future events. You can also launch the survey at any time by clicking on the red survey button at the bottom of your console. And if you're experiencing any technical problems, please type your issue into the Q&A text area, and we will be glad to offer one-on-one -on -one assistance. And now on to the presentation, how to enable predictive maintenance and condition monitoring for smarter HVACR equipment. Discussing today's topic are Julia Fichte, Manager Emerging Applications for Smart Building Infineon. In her role, she's responsible for the commercial and marketing strategy for smart building applications, such as condition monitoring and predictive maintenance or power over Ethernet. And joining her today is Manuel Holfelder, Man Manager Emerging Applications for Smart Building at Infineon. In his role, he oversees the technical business development for smart building applications, such as condition monitoring and predictive maintenance or power over Ethernet. And finally, Andrew Mazur, CTO, Clicatech Incorporated. Andrew has more than 10 years of experience developing firmware and cloud solutions for customers in many industries. As CTO, he leads Clicatech R&D, helping clients worldwide to build new business models and products with a focus on business-oriented outcomes and highest ROI. It's with great pleasure I now turn this special session over to Julia to begin. Julia, take it away. Thank you, Chris. Also, from our side, a warm welcome to everyone in this webinar. We are very happy that you joined us today. And we hope that by the end of the webinar, you have a better insight into how to enable predictive maintenance and condition monitoring in HACR devices using Infineon sensors. So we'll start this webinar by giving you some information about the importance of HACR devices in buildings with a special focus on predictive maintenance. Then Manuel will continue with the concepts of predictive maintenance and condition monitoring. And last but not least, Andrew will give you a live demo of our HVACR demonstrator and how we implemented predictive maintenance there based on our Infineon sensors. So as we all know, HVACR equipment is crucial to ensure smooth operations inside a building. And with the Internet of Things, many new opportunities arise for HVAC systems, especially with regards to data collection and optimizing its operations. Predictive maintenance can play here a key role in reducing the overall downtime of HVACR systems and increasing their operational efficiency. Predictive maintenance is hence becoming more and more important in the industry. Here you can see a quote from one of several marketing reports highlighting the role of predictive maintenance in HACR equipment. Condition monitoring and predictive maintenance in HACR devices becomes so important because the failure has such a big impact on a building's operations. We've all been inside a building inside in the middle of the summer in which the HVAC system has broken down and we all know how terrible it can be. But when you think on a more serious note about buildings such as airports and hospitals, it is vital and crucial for the operations that the HVACR systems runs perfectly all the time. Additionally, HVACR equipment providers and 
service maintenance providers often have to play quite hefty fines when unscheduled downtime happens. And it depends on their interest to prevent this from happening. By adding sensors to HVACR devices, they not only become smarter and more connected, but they can also monitor their conditions all the time and hence predict when their next failure is going to happen. This way, maintenance can be triggered in time to prevent those failure from happening. It is important to note here that it's important to understand the HVACR system and understand which events lead to failure so that we can collect the, co the correct data and provide meaningful, valuable, and actionable insights to you. When we've talked to experts from the industry, we found that problems at compressors, fans, and motors, and piping are causing the most failures in HVAC devices. It is hence important to monitor those elements inside the HVACR equipment. One way to do so is by adding sensors to the system. We from Infinium partnered along the value chain with AWS and ClickerTech to showcase the impact that sensors can have for predictive maintenance in HVACR systems. We built together a demonstrator highlighting this, and Andrew from ClickerTech will show you later in this webinar what this looks like and what the demonstrator can do. But we are also developing currently a reference kit with the necessary sensor to implement condition monitoring and predictive maintenance to help you implementing this feature in your HVACR devices. And with this, I hand over to Manuel. Thanks, Julia. I'd like to quickly introduce the concepts of predictive maintenance and condition monitoring, and I'd like to show you how we implemented it and what the underlying idea was of the demonstrator. I think every one of you knows the pyramid of maintenance, showing the level of intelligence and the level of insights you get with the different ways of doing maintenance. As you see here, we have reactive, periodic, proactive, and predictive maintenance. I assume that everyone knows the basic level of maintenance, like reactive and periodic maintenance. Basically, this means that you fix devices when they are broken, or you do it on a pre-scheduled timescale. But if you want to do the next level of maintenance and introduce more intelligence into your maintenance plans, you would rather switch to proactive maintenance, which means that you not only fix the devices, but you also identify underlying root causes and fix them so that the devices do not break again um, as a result of the same causes. Or you even do with predictive maintenance, identify how likely is it in advance that a device or equipment will fail and already can predict that the failure will occur and repair it before it actually happens. Overall, it's very important that for a higher level of intelligence for maintenance plans, like for proactive and predictive maintenance, you need deep insights in the into the device status and then into the device condition. And this you get with condition monitoring of the equipment. So a condition monitoring, getting the current state of the device, provides you the basic fundament for proactive and predictive maintenance. In the end, as also Julia introduced, what you really need is innovative sensor solutions to catch all the different parameters of your HVACR equipment, all the different, let's say, status you have, filter status, motor status, etc., to collect and combine them for proactive and predictive means of maintenance. To show you how innovative sensor solutions can be implemented for condition monitoring and predictive maintenance, I'd like to give you a concrete example with Infineon's DPS-368 barometric pressure sensor. The DPS-368 is a miniaturized absolute digital barometric air pressure sensor with an integrated temperature sensor. It's so unique because it has ultra-high precision allowing you to measure the altitude down to two centimeters from pressure changes with low current consumption. And why it's also so interesting for HVACR devices is the reason that it is environmentally protected, which means it can withstand 50 meters underwater for one hour, which makes it perfectly suitable for HVACR equipment. 
how can you now use this pressure sensor to implement flow rate measurements and also to implement overall um, sensor data insights for condition monitoring and predictive maintenance. Basically, what you can do is you can take a Venturi tube, what you see here. A Venturi tube is used to measure the speed of fluids flowing through a pipe or flowing through a tube. What you see here is a tube which has a narrow area in the middle at point 2 and a wider area at point 1. So if now a fluid like a gas or also a liquid runs through this pipe, it will change its pressure and speed according to Bernoulli's equation. So what you will see here is that between point 1 and 2, the speed of the liquid or of the, um, of the fluid changes and at the same time also the pressure in the fluid changes. So between point 1 and 2 you will see that the speed increases at point 2 while the pressure decreases which gives you eventually a different pressure difference as showed here by delta P. So what you can now do is with a barometric pressure sensor like the DPS368 you can install it and thanks to the Venturi effect which means the reduction of fluid pressure when fluid throws through a constricted section of the pipe measure the pressure difference so that you in the end out of the pressure difference can also thanks to Bernoulli equation calculate, calculate how fast the fluid or the gas or the air is running through the tube. So with this information you can easily use it to get the information about the flow rate of air in HVACR equipment. As an example, imagine we have pipes and tubes inside HVACR equipment or inside a, a building which distributes the air throughout the whole building or throughout the whole equipment. If we now install such a Venturi tube inside such a pipe for airflow measurement, typically what we will get for a clean um, and, and um, maintained system with a clean air filter um, uh, airflow a diagram what you see here just as an example so what we see here could be um, like for 40 days um, the tube or uh, no not the much air was going through and the system was rather in standby mode and then you see like uh, over a couple of 20 days um, or different couple of days high amount of airflow running through because you might have a hot summer or hot days or different usage pattern of your building but overall what you see out of the spot here, there is not much difference between the different um, patterns. So you would you say your system is completely functional and it's perfectly working. However, this might change over a longer period of time. Imagine your filter is getting dirty or so you have different changes which require maintenance and which require um, that, as an example, you'd exchange the air filter. So typically on a longer scale, what you will see is some pattern um, and some change in the overall um, airflow. So as illustrated here, you see clearly that the peaks of the airflow um, during your normal usage pattern decrease. So you see that somehow the airflow is decreasing in your system. And if there is no external change, easily you see that there must be a problem with the device itself. So by collecting this data, accumulating it at the edge, as an example, sending up to the cloud and providing data intelligence there, you can easily detect that there is some fault and some failure and that, as an example, a dirty air filter has to be replaced. Thanks to a parametric pressure sensor like the DPS368 in this application. As I have shown you here, sensors play a crucial role for condition monitoring and predictive maintenance. Infineon overall is perfectly equipped with a broad portfolio to implement a lot of different use cases and uh, different ways of doing condition monitoring and predictive maintenance in HVACR equipment. As an example, here to give you an overview, with microphones you could do sound anomaly detection and you could detect whether there are some strange noises in the motors or overall there are strange noises in the device itself. As shown earlier, the pressure sensor is perfectly suited for doing airflow measurements. With an environmental sensor, you can easily measure the CO2 level, which tells you about the device that there might 
be the need to exchange the air filters or also to exchange overall the mixture of external and internal air so you get an idea about the indoor air quality. 3D radar technology can be used to monitor a multitude of components in your HVAC device by doing vibration measurements or even doing presence detection outside of the HVACR equipment. Also, just to sum up here, um, as you see, sensors play a crucial role as um, it's not only about the obvious sensors like also magnetic and current sensors which can be used for detecting power consumption um, of the device or detecting whether service is done or not uh, because the service web is still open. But it's also about additional semiconductors like motor control, microcontrollers, embedded security and power IOC solutions which Infineon provides. So that in a nutshell, you have a perfect portfolio to implement various use cases for condition monitoring and predictive maintenance in HVACR equipment. But it's not only about having the right components, having the right bits and pieces for making a bigger system. It's also understanding how the whole value chain for HVACR equipment works and how these devices on the one side are built but also, and that's even more important, how they are deployed in the field. Because if you want to provide uh, predictive maintenance and condition monitoring, you have to think of an end-to-end -end solution. As we have illustrated here, the value chain for building technology is rather complex because you do not only have the manufacturers of HVCR equipment, but also like the building management platform providers, the cloud providers, or also the building operators. Due to this uh, complex value chain as Infineon, and as Infineon is standing at the beginning with, as a component maker, Infineon decided to partner up with ClickerTech and with AWS to combine our broad expertise in, along this value chain and to integrate our sensor and power hardware expertise and the strong footprint in such systems together with the cloud infrastructure from AWS, with advanced data analytics and data processing and ClickerTech's know-how how to combine the embedded side and the cloud side into one HVACR demonstrator. And I'd like to hand over now to Andrew to show you how the demonstrator looks like and what the reference kit is based on. Thank you, Manuel. Yes, today I will talk about the HVACR demonstrator. Let's start from uh, the description of the ClickAttack company. So headquartered in Miami and with offices in New York City, Berlin and Minsk, ClickAttack is the global Internet of Things solutions uh, provider company. So at ClickAttack, we co-create end-to-end hardware, embedded and software solutions for uh, different fields such as wearables, smart homes, smart retail, connected healthcare, connected agricultural, uh, automotive, smart mobility. And we do that for our client and partners for mid-level enterprises and for sure companies. We are AWS Advanced Consulting and IoT Competency Partner with several AWS service delivery designations, including AWS IT Core. So uh, we, uh, in partnership with Infineon and AWS, created a generic solution for various industry sectors uh, to optimize the operation and maintenance of physical assets and systems. The basis of uh, the solution is the sensor data that conveys various aspects of physical device operating condition. Process data is used to monitor current state of the device and detect anomalies in its operation and predict future failures. One of the applicable fields for the solution is HVACR industry. It is beneficial for HVACR owners to solve issues with the equipment before it causes heavy damage. And according to the gathered statistics from uh, different HVACR service organizations, the most common failures are within compressor and air exchange fans. An HVACR demonstrator has been created to showcase first two steps within the mentioned components, condition monitoring and anomaly detection. The next uh, logical step uh, that is currently in progress for this solution is to implement predictive maintenance feature after gathering data from different HVACR units of the same model before they got broken. So it's a complex and time-consuming task 
that should be done separately for each model of a specific HVACR manufacturer. Uh, that is due to the combination of the sensors used and their mounting points uh, which affect incoming data. Uh, when the data is changed, we need to uh, just retrain the predictive uh, maintenance machine model uh, that is uh, being used. Uh, on this slide, there is an example of architecture diagram for an uh, HVACR uh, unit. So similar uh, one was used within uh, our demonstrator that we will show you today. It consists of several components. First of all, it's a portable HVACR unit. Then uh, Infineon sensors and MCU attached to the HVACR unit. Uh, on the cloud, we have AWS-based solution for data processing. And also we have a data visualization application. Uh, in general, the raw data is collected from sensors attached to the HVACR and processed on the edge by Infineon XMC4700 powered by FreeRTOS real-time operating system. Uh, this data uh, is later wrapped into MQTT messages that are sent to the cloud. AWS IoT Core is the main data engine service for IoT devices at AWS. It has an MQTT broker that accepts incoming messages. AWS IoT Rule Service propagates incoming data to other AWS services. Processed uh, data from the sensors is visualized in the dashboard. For these purposes, we utilize Kibana. With the help of the dashboard, we can monitor our HVACR unit, get notifications on detected anomalies. Implemented solution um, supports bidirectional data flow. We can not only send the data from the device uh, to the cloud, but also from the cloud to the device. Based on this feature, we can uh, control our HVACR remotely. We can change configurations. We can update uh, even firmware over the air. And uh, on the next slide, we would like to uh, demonstrate the um, HVACR uh, unit that we use. It's a portable unit. And it was uh, chosen only for uh, demonstration purposes because it's uh, of its mobility. It has uh, the same structure as uh, other HVACR types and units. Within our demonstrator, we monitor uh, compressor and air exchange fans. And uh, they are indicated on the slide. So you can see the cold fan output, cold fan input, hot fan output, and the compressor. Um, let's move to another slide with uh, the description of hardware components we use and uh, the firmware uh, that uh, powers uh, hardware units. So uh, we use uh, XMC4700 MCU that is based on ARM Cortex-M4 at 144 uh, megahertz. Board has two megabytes flash and uh, 352 kilobytes RAM. Uh, for the connectivity, we use uh, an additional Wi-Fi module. Uh, so the chip is qualified for extended temperature range up to 125 degrees Celsius. And uh, additional uh, business advantages of uh, this MCU is a long-term availability uh, through uh, 2031 or longer. So uh, we also uh, use an Optiga Trust M security solution, and we'll talk about it a bit later on a dedicated slide. In regards to sensors, uh, so we use a current sensor that is a TLI-4970, uh, so there are several of them, one of, uh, for measuring current consumed by the compressor, another for measuring current consumed by fan. Uh, when the average consumed current changes significantly, it means that something went wrong with the motor or filter and compressor should be changed. Air temperature and uh, pressure sensor uh, we use is DPS368, uh, and also there are several of them. One is used to measure the uh, compressor body temperature, which should be in an acceptable range. If not, then the compressor should be considered as near to fail. And uh, air pressure here is just uh, to get atmosphere pressure uh, to be compared with other sensors. Another uh, DPS-368 is used to measure air temperature coming out of the fan. In case cooling system works fine, it shows the values around the zero or um, for the uh, cold outlet and uh, more than uh, 40 degrees Celsius for a hot outlet. Uh, this sensor has outstanding characteristics in measuring pressure 
It could measure pressure with uh, precise sensor uh, precision down to plus minus um, 0.002 hectopascal. And as fans uh, make air blowing, um, it is increase uh, the pressure on the sensors relatively to the atmospheric one. So it could be compared and checked whether the fan air is blowing or not. Uh, we use also linear hole sensor, uh, TLE uh, 4997. It's an analog sensor which is fixed near the compressor body but has no mechanical connection with it. Uh, it is an analog sensor which is used to sense magnetic field which vibes uh, because of compressor vib vibration. And the, the spectrum of this signal is uh, pretty clean. Uh, when the compressor works as expected and could be dirty and full of uh, harmonics in case of the problems such as uh, bearing break or unscrewed nut. Uh, for this solution, we also utilized the uh, MEMS microphone, uh, IM69D130, uh, uh, and it is um, a high dynamic range microphone that is used uh, to record sound inside the HVACR body. Uh, sound spectrum analysis helps to detect uh, many failures before um, uh, our HVACR will stop working. Uh, it should be noted that, uh, unfortunately, usage of uh, different microphones inside uh, the device uh, could be prohibited uh, by governmental laws. Um, then I would like to tell you a bit more about uh, the uh, cloud part and especially AWS. Uh, here we have uh, uh, just part of uh, the previous architecture that I sh uh, showed you. So uh, the data from uh, XMC4700 uh, is sent to the AWS over MQTT for future processing. Now, the solution takes advantage of various fully managed uh, services provided by AWS. And uh, with AWS help, we can get uh, reliable, scalable, and cost-effective uh, system out of the box. Uh, the MQTT broker that is um, uh, responsible for the transmission of incoming messages from the HVACR is hosted uh, in the AWS IT core service. AWS IT rule translates messages from specific MQTT topics to the Amazon Kinesis data stream service. The Amazon Kinesis data stream service provides a real-time consumption and processing of the streaming data. And uh, as we can see, there are several consumers of the data. Uh, the first one is an Amazon Kinesis Data Analytics that provides an online anomaly detection model based on a random cut forest algorithm. So it's um, an unsupervised algorithm for detecting anomalous data points within a data set. Uh, it's pre-built uh, in AWS service. And uh, the anomaly score is then stored in the Amazon Elasticsearch service using the Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose service. Amazon Elasticsearch service provides search and analytics capabilities that are uh, useful for building a live visual representation of the data. And uh, on top of that, we use Kibana as a tool to visualize the data on the dashboard. And we will also demonstrate it uh, a bit later. And uh, another stream uh, is uh, the data uh, that is the consumer that uh, consumes the data coming from the Kinesis data streams. It's an uh, Amazon Kinesis data firehose. This service is a perfect fit for storing streaming data to the training data S3 bucket. Uh, we save this historical data to be used during the next phases in the training predictive maintenance models. So uh, we just store the data uh, in S3 for future processing. And uh, the control and audit of the cloud is provided by um, uh, AWS CloudWatch and AWS Cloud Trail Services. And we also use uh, AWS CloudFormation together with uh, AWS uh, CDK. Uh, to easily bootstrap the solution uh, in AWS, utilizing infrastructure as a code approach. Uh, and we also need to mention that uh, uh, the last AWS Cognitas service as users sign in, sign up, and access control data for monitoring within um, the dashboard. So uh, we can move uh, to another slide, which is the security provided uh, from the edge to the cloud as the end-to-end -end solution. And uh, security is uh, built in the foundation of our solution. 
So uh, in order to, as I mentioned, identify and access uh, uh, the uh, front-end part, the Kibana dashboard, uh, we use Amazon Cognito service. We also, uh, within the detective controls, uh, uh, we uh, make the system to uh, stream logs to the Amazon CloudWatch service, and the infrastructure actions are logged to Amazon Cloud Trail service. Uh, a few words uh, should be said about the data protection. The protection of uh, the private keys uh, at the edge is achieved by uh, using the Aptiga Trust Time module, which prevents the leakage of the keys in the case of the physical access to the device and allows to provide security less connection and firmware protection. Uh, data in transit uh, is uh, encrypted uh, using the TLS secure channels between the HVACR appliance and the cloud. And uh, the data is protected uh, uh, in the cloud, in the rest. Uh, right now we uh, do not do that, but it can be achieved uh, by encrypting uh, the data in Kinesis S3 and Elasticsearch using AWS key management service. And uh, I would also like to note that uh, uh, for the provisioning, uh, we use Aptiga Trust M module. Uh, we store keys there, and uh, we also store AWS IT Core uh, provisioned keys uh, to natively connect to AWS platform. And uh, as embedded systems are increasingly uh, gaining the attention of attackers, Infineon offers Aptiga Trust M as a turnkey solution for industrial automation systems, smart homes, consumers devices, and medical devices. This high-end security controller comes with a full uh, integration support for easy and cost-effective deployment of high-end uh, solutions. It perfectly uh, fits for our HVAC solution. So uh, this new security technology greatly enhances our overall system security by protecting uh, the authenticity, integrity, and confidentiality of sensors data that we send to the cloud. Uh, we, as I mentioned, use uh, it for storing AWS case in a secure manner. Uh, then we also use it for a secure communication with AWS uh, and for uh, secure or their updates. Uh, the Optiga Trust M is uh, an advanced, uh, I would say, security controller with a built-in tamper-proof uh, NVM for secure storage and cryptographic supports, uh, such as uh, RCA uh, 1024 and 2048, uh, SHA uh, 256, uh, TRNG, DRNG, and also ECC NIST uh, P256, P384. So um, then let's move to the predictive maintenance. And uh, we would uh, like to provide you several steps on how you can uh, predict different failures in your HVAC systems. So um, based on the solution, our architecture that we demonstrated, it is possible to use the aggregate data stored in the S3 to train different machine learning models. They can be used to receive additional insights, including uh, predictions of uh, uh, its failures. Using uh, the uh, supervised learning techniques, we can solve classification problems and um, identify what components of HVACR can break with uh, the defined period of time. Or we can uh, use another approach uh, where we can identify the time for a specific HVACR component to fail, whether it will happen in a month, uh, two, or in a year. We can use here regression, trees, support vector machine, neural networks, and etc. And uh, we can do that based on our data with the help of uh, the Amazon SageMaker, uh, where we can uh, build a machine learning model, where we can train a machine learning model based on our uh, aggregated data, where we can later on optimize uh, the machine learning model with uh, uh, Amazon SageMaker Neo, and deploy the trained uh, machine learning uh, model to AWS infrastructure optimized for machine learning workloads. I would like to mention that Amazon SageMaker is a fully managed service that provides um, every developer and data scientist with the ability to build, train, and deploy machine learning models quickly. It provides means to label data, uh, train it, tune, and deploy models using familiar uh, to data scientist tools. 
and Amazon SageMaker can be used to create powerful custom machine learning models. And within the creation of these uh, custom uh, models, we can uh, utilize uh, uh, any modern standard uh, uh, techniques for uh, creating uh, machine learning models with uh, uh, classification, regression, support vector machines, and neural networks. So um, uh, then let's move to uh, the dashboard. And uh, here uh, I would like to tell you that we utilize Kibana and uh, uh, it's an open source data visualization dashboard uh, for Elasticsearch. It provides visualization capabilities on top of uh, the content uh, indexed at Elasticsearch cluster. And among the different graphical uh, instruments, there are different bars, lines, uh, plots, uh, pie charts, maps, um, and many other. Um, it can be easily integrated with already working production system of yours. Uh, here uh, on um, this slide, we showcase that on the uh, light on the uh, right top uh, bar, there is a historical graph or that uh, showcase the anomalies. Uh, unless um, the uh, blue bar uh, does not reach uh, the top red uh, bar, the system works perfectly and uh, uh, the average uh, anomaly score um, that uh, is uh, calculated right now can be seen on the uh, left top uh, bar. Uh, being that said, I would like to show the uh, demo of the HVACR uh, condition warning and anomaly detection. So there are two use cases that are shown on the video. The compression anomaly behavior. At the beginning, you saw that uh, the HVACR unit operated as expected. In the near uh, HVACR video, we also see the graph with the data coming in real time and the sensors attached to this uh, HVACR. We have connected the heating element to the compressor uh, power supply circuit. The sensor data is changed instantly and the random cut forest algorithm identifies uh, the animal behavior. This is shown in the similar, uh, this behavior is visualized on the upper graphs. This is the, another risk case, a fun anomaly uh, detection and behavior. So um, this is shown in a similar fashion to the previous one. We emulate the situation when the fan is dusty and we close the fan with an obstacle. The same random cut force algorithm identifies the anomaly that is visualized on the upper graphs. And uh, that's all from my end. Uh, and I would like to uh, hand back to Julia. Thank you. Thank you very much, Andrew, for these interesting insights. As we've already mentioned in the beginning of this webinar, HACR devices are a crucial element of the building's infrastructure. And actually, predictive maintenance is one of the key elements to enable the smart buildings of tomorrow. It is even in the fifth and final tier of automation, as you can see here, which includes the extensive command and control in smart buildings. Quickatech and Infineon offer a variety of solutions for supporting and enabling smart buildings. And you have now seen one use case that we support condition monitoring and predictive maintenance. To help you implementing condition monitoring and predictive maintenance faster in your HVAC devices, Infineon, together with ClickerTech and AWS, is currently developing a joint reference kit. In this reference kit, you will find a variety of sensors, such as a barometric air pressure sensor and temperature sensor, current sensors, and others to enable condition monitoring and predictive maintenance in your devices. It will also come with all required software for basic setup, as well as an AWS cloud formation template and quick start guide. This kit is an ideal starting point for further customization of this solution. And together with our partner ClickerTech, we from Infineon stand at your side to help you take this reference kit to the next level and towards the final solution to a, tailored towards your individual needs. So in this webinar, you have seen that HVACR devices are a crucial part for buildings and the operations and malfunctioning of these devices can cause severe problems and costs. 
Condition monitoring and predictive maintenance ensures that HVACI devices work properly and help providing next level of maintenance services. Sensors and semiconductor solutions enable condition monitoring and predictive maintenance together with edge computing and cloud infrastructure as part of an HVACR end-to-end -end solution. And last but not least, smart HVACR devices and predictive maintenance are overall essential to the smart buildings of tomorrow. In case of any questions or more information needed, please feel free to contact us and you can see our contact information right here. And this is all of us and now I'm handing over back to Chris. Thank you.